Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my tea collection, my like loose leaf teas, and kind of reviewing one, and then I'm gonna kind of review all the other ones. Um, yeah, so I figured, I asked you guys in one of my videos, my May favorites, um, as to whether or not you guys wanted me to do like tea vlogs, tea reviews, whatever, and like, I had no comment saying no. Um, so, wow, I'm losing my voice, cool, cool, yeah. Cool. Okay, so we're back. Hopefully my voice doesn't die out. Um, yeah, so all of you guys pretty much said that you wanted me to do tea reviews. Um, there were a couple of concerns, which is understandable, um, as to whether or not you guys could get the actual tea that I'm talking about. Now, the, the two tea places that I do shop from are, um, this one is called The Tea Store, and the other one is David's Tea. Now, David's Tea, I know for sure, I checked on their website, they ship in Canada, if you guys don't have one near you and you are in Canada, and they also ship to the United States. They don't ship internationally, um, which sucks, but the majority of my YouTube viewers are Canadian, obviously US, so that's good, so you guys can get this if you want to, you can order it on the, like, online, and, um, UK. Now, the UK, from what I can understand, has a bunch of tea so I mean I feel really bad that you guys can't get a hold of it but you know if you, hopefully you guys will still enjoy these um, for those of you who can't necessarily get it like but I'm sure that there's loose leaf tea stores all over the world in different countries so if anything it, I want it to sort of inspire you guys to go try a bunch of stuff um, I'm gonna list the ingredients that are in some things so if you happen to have a loose leaf tea store like a like a chain store like David's Tea is or anything like that that you, you can go kind of like check stuff out and have an idea of maybe the flavors that you might be interested in so that's kind of where I'm going with this um, also some of you guys suggested that instead of being like here's a bunch of tea and then just talk about that to sort of like drink tea talk about like and vlog as I sort of review it um, like review it and vlog I'm totally okay with that because um, it might be fun to do sort of like a discussion kind of thing, like, hey guys, I'm talking about this tea, and then, by the way, this is what happened in my life, discuss. Um, let me know if you guys are like that, I think that might be fun. Uh, today, though, is just gonna be sort of like an overview of the loose leaf teas that I currently- My voice is dying. So this video is gonna be kind of an overview of the loose leaf teas that I- Currently own. By the way, three minutes in and I have yet to mention what's going on with my face. Um, this is a tutorial that would be the previous video, hopefully, that I did, depending on what when this goes, it goes up. Losing my voice, really. Um, and it's for the painted doll from the Devil's Carnival, so if you guys want to know how to do this or whatever, then there's a tutorial. It'll probably be my last um, video. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, this is just going to be an overview of the loose leaf teas that I currently have because I am trying to drink through at least three more before I go get more. Um, that way I just don't have like a complete abundance of them. Um, so yeah, without further ado, um, these, okay, so I have two current loose leaf ones from the tea store. This is one that if you happen to be in Ottawa, I know I do have some subscribers from Ottawa. Um, this is where I live by the way. And Ottawa is an awesome city in terms of tea places. So this is um, the tea store. This is the tea store. This is down in uh, the Byward Market. If you're interested, there's also one in Kingston, I guess, if you know where that is. Um, so this is the first one that I have. This is uh, Pina Colada. And yeah, so I have 50 grams of that. Now, when it comes to grams of tea, um, I was starting to buy 50 grams and then I realized that like with 50 grams and testing a tea that's a little too much because you can make quite a bit with 50 grams. Um, so I started to switch to getting like these sizes. These are uh, 25 grams and this allows for about um, probably about 8 cups. So I mean really like I, I generally get at least 2 cups from each like one thing that I'll explain it later but yeah, so you can probably get about eight cups out of a packet of these. I haven't finished one off yet, so finished one off. <laughs> wow, dirty, dirty places. My mind just went to. Um, yeah, I haven't finished a bag of one of these yet, so I can't say exactly how many cups it makes, but 
let's just say that 50 grams is way too much to just try out one. So keep that in mind if you're going to go in and try some stuff out. So yeah, I have uh, pina colada. Now I'm just going to go like go over these. I'm not going to go like right into the, like reviewing them. Um, the one that I am drinking right now, which I will review in a second, is it's actually a brown rice tea. This is a like Japanese brown rice tea. It's what they serve at um, sushi restaurants and Japanese restaurants with dinner. Um, it's it's awesome. So I do have 50 grams of that. And then I'm going to go into all my David's tea teas. I think I have all of them here. I hope I do. Um, so another one that, again, before I realized not to, to start buying, like, um, 25 grams, I have this one. This is a green tea, and it's called Movie Night, and, um, yeah. So I'm just gonna basically say the names, and then you guys pick which one I review next, because that's gonna be fun for me, I guess. Um, then this one is, I do not know how to pronounce half this shit. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. My friend, it's... Oh, how did she say? I forget how she told me it was pronounced. Robos? Robos? Rubos? Rubos? I don't know. Um, anyway, this one is Creme Caramel. Do I have that one? Um, then I have one called Lime Gelato. That one's fucking awesome. Um, then I have Chocolate Orange. This one is a... Oh, God, I don't know how to pronounce that either. That is... Pur puree, puree. I want to say puree. That might be wrong though. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, then I have organic buttered rum. This is a black tea. And then I have um, organic chicory dickory dock. That one is an herbal tea. And then I have forever nuts, which is another herbal tea. So those are all my loose leaf teas that I currently have. So I have like nine that are in my rotation right now, um, which is more than enough. My voice is seriously having issues right now. Um, so yeah, those are the nine. So you guys pick the next one that I review in the comments. That'd be fun, actually. Yeah, let's do that. That'd be fun. Um, and then I'll review that one. But the one that I am currently drinking right now is the Japanese brown rice tea. It is pronounced... Oh, there is a technical name for it. It's called... Genmaicha? Genmaicha? I, uh, seriously, pronunciation and these things, I have no idea. Um, now, David's Tea, I know for sure, whoops, don't fall down, um, has a version of this, but really, if it looked the exact same, like in the um, tin, it looked the exact same, and so, I mean, really, I'm sure you guys can pick this up anywhere. It's fantastic. Um, Hopefully, I'll show you guys what it looks like in my hand and try not to spill any of it all over the place. But that's the what it looks like right there. And there is some sort of little like popcorny white kernels in it. And basically, it's a base of green tea. And then it has um, brown rice something in it. The thing that I don't like about getting them from the tea store is that it doesn't give me like a full list of ingredients as to what's in it, which really kind of pisses me off. But it does have these little like puff rice things, so it's just kind of cool. Um, yeah, so this tea is really awesome. This is what it looks like brewed. I can see that I put quite a bit in my infuser because I had this filled up all the way and I drank like six cups of it already. Uh, um, this teapot, in case you're wondering, I got this from Ikea, it was like $10, and it holds about one liter of um, water. So you can make like about eight cups, I'd say, um, in one of these, so yeah. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the coloring of it. Keep in mind that this has been seeping for a while, so it, it should be a little bit more clear than that. Um, yeah, so you can see after it's been brewing in there, oh, maybe not. Oh things. Let's see if I can show you guys this without it falling everywhere. That's kind of what it looks like after it's been brewed. So all the little like rice kernels kind of expand, which is cool. Um, yeah, as for taste, it's really sort of distinctive. It has like the green tea taste, yet it has like a brown rice earthiness to it. And it's really like, I like having it almost as a meal, like not like, if not if you're super, super hungry, you obviously want to eat, but um, I like having it sort of as like a like a lunchy kind of thing or 
after dinner as like a it's more like a meal tea it's not like a dessert tea or fruity tea or like a breakfast tea or anything like that it's definitely more earthy and rich and it's just it's really good like if you like brown rice which is it's weird to think like brown rice like what does brown rice taste like but it's really has that earthy vibe to it um this is something that i tried like i tried a brown rice tea at a sushi restaurant and i had to like hunt it down i was like there's got to be and you know they told me there there was a brown rice tea and i kind of passed it out of my mind and then i was like oh i really want to drink that tea again so that's when i kind of went on a hunt for it and it turns out that that is what it's technically is called um yeah so it's really good tea if you're into something a little bit more earthy. It really does smell like brown rice, by the way, which is uh, kind of awesome. But uh, yeah, so that's kind of my review of that, sort of my overview. So leave it in the comments below um, what tea I should review next out of my collection. So if you guys have a favorite out of those ones, then I'll review that one next. Um, and show you guys like what it looks like and what I personally think of it. Keep in mind that this is all personal. Um, like what I like you might not like and vice versa. I generally have a liking for most things like um, tea wise I don't really like spicy things like chai but I am gonna slowly work through the entire David's tea list that they have so that's my goal so we'll see slowly how well I do that. Um, yeah that is kind of like a wrap up so do leave in the comments which one I should try next and if you like this video and then maybe next one I'll do a little bit of like more of a vlog kind of thing. Um, yeah, so hope you guys are doing good. And until my next video, I'll talk to all you soon. Bye.